Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. And we're gonna be looking at what you can expect in love, what's been going on in the past, what are the challenges, what is the person that you're thinking about, what are they, what's on their mind, and what can you expect next? So let's jump right in for Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn for the month of November. All right, what can you expect? What's coming in for you? Okay, those came out right away. Death, Scorpio energy, some sort of change. Wow, Six of Wands, a good change. And the Knight of Cups. Something's changing for you, but in a good way is what it looks like here. Could be a Scorpio that's coming in with a cup of love with the Knight of Cups. Could be an apology for an ending. Or it could be that someone is bringing you an offer of some sort and this brings about a happy change, a good change for you. Knight of, uh, not Knight of Cups, Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And you know, Capricorns, you've been getting this energy of someone new or something new happening for you in love, like something really nice. So let's hope that this reading reflects that because I love that energy but first let's see what's this knight of cups about why is the knight of cups here for a Capricorn why is the knight of cups here the eight of cups and the four of swords hmm You know, I'm getting that some of you might not be interested in this cup. Or this could be somebody coming back, someone who left. Capricorn, I really hope this isn't like one of your other readings that I keep getting on my channel. Let's see. What's going on for Capricorn in love? What do we need to know for Capricorn? Poetic justice. You will have justice and balance will be restored. Okay, what else? What else is happening for Capricorn? Inner voice, intuition, guidance, answers. Let your intuition guide you towards the right path. Difficult decision. So some of you, you have to think about yourself. There's something here, there's an energy of here of thinking about what's fair to you, what's balanced to you, and letting your intuition guide you in that direction. Let's see, let's see what's going on in the recent past. What's been happening in the recent past for Capricorn? What's been going on in the recent past for Capricorn? Five of Pentacles, okay been going on in the recent past for Capricorn wow the wheel of fortune you know what I'm getting I'm getting that something did not work out for you but you don't understand or don't know or don't realize that spirit made it happen that way it's like this was meant to happen this five of Pentacles some sort of difficulty some sort of struggle Maybe there's a turnaround coming or a shift happening for you, but you're you're not, I don't feel like you're aware of this. I feel like there's something changing for you for the better. Some of you, this could be an offer to change jobs, to change, to move. Maybe you meet someone new and you hit it off and you think, well, I'll move to that city. We'll see. Let's keep going. I am not gonna get my hopes up. <laughs> What's the current challenge for Capricorn? What's the current challenge for Capricorn? What's the current challenge? Wow, the tower. Something surprising, something unexpected. Something you weren't prepared for? I keep getting the tower. And again with temper, okay, temperance, Sagittarius, and the Nine of Cups. 
Capricorn. This reading is for a Capricorn where something blew up in your life, something you weren't prepared for, something rocked you, but you don't know that it's going to work out for the best. You were, you're going to get something from that. You might not see it. You might not understand it right now. But there's something happening for you that I feel is because of this tower, this five of pentacles, this death card. Like something rocked your world that you weren't prepared for, but it's for the best or for the better. Tell me about the tower and temperance. Tell me about the tower and temperance. What's going on here with the tower and temperance? The queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, the devil, that's your energy at the bottom of the deck and the seven of cups. I feel like there's going to be doors that open for you that you have to take action on. Seven of cups, queen of wands, you know, which one do I choose? I feel like the choice that you need to make is the one that's fair to you. You have to be selfish, I'm getting, with this poetic justice, difficult decision, inner voice. Listen to your intuition about this decision, this move that you're making. I feel like there's going to be something that takes you by surprise with the tower. And maybe at first you're like, what am I gonna do now? Well, you need to think about what's, what's best for you. You need to be selfish because there's going to be doors opening an action that you need to take. You need to be fearless. You need to be bold. You might even need to take risks with the Queen of Wands. I know that's difficult for Capricorns, but I feel like this is a lesson for you to maybe try something new. Um, the Lovers, the Star, the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, Gemini, Aquarius energy here. I feel like um, you need to make a path or you need to choose the path and follow your heart. And yes, you're gonna be wondering if that's gonna work out, but you don't need to be worried about that right now <laughs> because Spirit is saying that there's gonna be a shift, a turnaround for you with this Wheel of Fortune, Six of Wands, success. Some of you, I feel like this is similar to Taurus, a career reading for some of you here. Let me know if that's resonating for you. I feel like maybe some of you get let go or fired. And at first you're like, um, what am I going to do? I need money. But you that needed to happen for you for some reason. Maybe it pushes you to try that new career. Or maybe you find a better job. Or maybe you decide to move back home. And that's when something changes for you, etc., etc. Tell me about the person that Capricorn is, has, or will be dealing with. What's on their mind? The person that's in your midst or the person that's coming in. What do we need to know about them, spirit? What do we need to know about them? I feel like this reading is more for you, but seven of wands, four of swords. What do we need to know about this person? I feel like this person could be blocked or I'll put on silent, silent mode, justice, Libra energy, and then the ace of cups. Interesting. Okay, many ways to interpret this. Could be dealing with a Libra. When I see the seven of wands and the four of swords, this could be somebody that wants to make things right for you, but they're on silent. They're muted. They are blocked. Another way to interpret this is that maybe they were very quiet and they decided to kind of like have courage, stand firm. Some of you, this justice card and this ace of cups, I feel like this is like a, a job offer, like an official offer. And this makes you very happy. It's, it's an emotionally fulfilling job. Maybe it's your dream job. But you had to fight to get it. Seven of Wands. But I feel like for a lot of you, there's someone in your midst that you have silenced in a way. And this could be, maybe you haven't blocked them physically, but you've blocked them emotionally. Like they can't get to you anymore emotionally. 
This could be someone you stop talking to as well. Tell me more about this Seven of Wands, Four of Swords. Tell me more about this individual, Seven of Wands, Four of Swords. Wow, the star, Aquarius energy. So this could be about healing too, Four of Swords and the star, healing energy. King of Wands. Some of you, I feel like this could be the person that hires you. There's something different about you. You are like the star of the applicants. You fought your way to the top of the list. And now they're making you an offer. What else? What okay. Others of you, this is a person. They're feeling very bold right now. King of Wands. To approach you let's see but i feel like with the world here i mean there's just so many ways to interpret this capricorn some i feel like i'm reading for two groups of capricorns one of you this is a job situation others of you this could be somebody that wants to make things right heal this situation start a new cycle with you king of wands aries leo sagittarius energy but i don't feel like this is the focus for you if you know every time that i think about this is someone that wants to heal things with you I get like very like monotone energy. It's like there's no, I don't get like an interest there. It's almost like this is just part of like your life, you know, but it's not your focus, if that makes sense. Especially if they're blocked, you can't hear them, right? You, you can't, you're not receiving any contact or information from them. But a lot of you, I feel like this is an offer coming in after like the worst moment of your life. Yeah, something like that. It's like this is um, a major shift for you. You thought you're, you, you know, it's like you thought the worst happened, but it caused a huge shift in your life. Let's see, what can you expect next? What's going on here for Capricorn? What can Capricorn expect next, Spirit? In the near future. In the near future, Spirit. What can Capricorn expect? Wow, the Empress. I heard sitting pretty. <laughs> you can expect to sit pretty? Someone's going to recognize your words. I feel like someone's crowning you. Like putting on a crown. I'm seeing someone put on a crown. Okay. What can Capricorn expect in the near future? King of Swords, some sort of communication. Honest communication, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Can I get one more? What can Capricorn expect in the near future, Spirit? What can Capricorn expect? Wow, the Emperor shows up. Four of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And the Chariot. Cancer energy, what's behind this? And the Ace of Swords, interesting. I feel like someone's going to, um, I'm, I'm picturing someone extending a hand. So at first they were keeping something to themselves or guarding something. For example, if this is a boss, they have a position opened, but they haven't extended the offer. But I'm picturing someone extending the offer. If this is, if you're in the, uh, career group like this is about a job you're definitely moving forward on a different you're, you're in a whole different path this is a, a career shift um, it's an offer for a job that sets you down a different path some of you are hesitant to take this job if, that, if that's you you're going to be hesitant to take this job because there's something different about it and you'll start a new partnership here. Some of you, this could be a business partner. If this is a romantic situation, like you're interested in love, I feel like there's a conversation that takes you down a different path. And you're very guarded at first, but this is your counterpart, the emperor or the empress. It's a conversation from a, count, a divine counterpart, right? Like you match each other very well. And there's movement forward. Like this is a connection that the minute you start talking to this person, you see the path ahead. 
You're like, wow, I can see this working. I could see myself long term with this person. What's behind this? Yeah, listen to your intuition, the high priestess. Make the decision that your gut is telling you to make. Go with your gut instinct. Some of you are going to have to get out of your comfort zone and it's really hard for you. So that's why this happened. This was, you were forced out of your comfort zone for a reason. To meet your divine counterpart or to meet a strategic partner. That's all you need to know. That is all you need to know. So I'm going to take this to the extended and in the extended is going to be a little bit different for you guys because I feel like I'm... So for some of you, this is definitely career related and for others of you, this is love related. So I'm going to focus the extended on both of you. <laughs> I'm going to do maybe a little mini reading, bonus reading for the career group and a little bonus reading for the love group. So no matter where you fall under, check out the extended because we're going to be diving deep into um, any challenges or, or obstacles that exist here. What do you need to know about this? What do you need to know about, you know, your best way to prepare for this job, if this is a career job, and then your best way to prepare for this partnership, if this is a love partnership. Also, if this is a love partnership, what are their intentions? And same thing with this job energy. What's the what's the overall goal here, goal here for you in terms of career? So I'm going to try to do that, see if it works. <laughs> Feel free to check it out if you want to know more. Thank you so much for watching Capricorn. If you enjoyed the reading, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in another reading very soon. Take care.